going to discuss about the monopulse tracking radar. The tar target angle measurement is made on the basics of one pulse. More than one antenna beam is used simultaneously. All the information, uh, all the information necessary to determine the angular error is obtained on the basis of one pulse. Hence, the name is mono pulse. The tracking accuracy will not be degraded by the fluctuation of target cross section and fluctuation echoes. So. Here we are using the two methods. One is the amplitude comparison monopulse. In this technique, the RF signal received from the two offset antenna beams are combined so that both the sum and the different signals are obtained simultaneously. The sum and different signals are multiplied in phase sensitive detectors to obtain both the magnitude and the direction of the error signal. All the information necessary to determine the angular error is obtained on the base of the signal single pulse. Hence the name monopulse is quit appropriate. It employs to overlapping antenna pattern to the obtain the angular error in one coordinates. So the two overlapping antenna beams can be generated with a single reflector or with the lens antenna illuminated by two adjacent feet. A cluster of four feet may be used if both elevation and azimuth angle signals are required. The sum of two antenna patterns are and the difference is shown. The sum pattern is used for transmission while both the sum pattern and the difference patterns are used in the reception. So, the sum signal provides the range measurement and is used to reference to extract the signal of the error signal while the different signal provides the magnitude of the angular error. Signals received from the sum and difference patterns and the amplified separately and combined in a phase sensitive detector are to produce the error. Single characteristics thereby magnitude and the direction of the error signal can be determined. A phase sensitive detector is used to determine the sign of the error signal so that the servo motors know which way to drive the antenna back to the target. So the figure shows the block diagram of a single angular coordinate amplitude comparison monopulse tracking radar. The two adjacent antenna FETs are connected to the two arms of the hybrid junction such as ray trace and short, uh, short slot coupler. The sum and different signal appears at the two arms of the hybrid. So here now we are going to see the monopulse tracking radar on one angular coordinate. Here we are adding the transmitter and hybrid junction. Here we are using the hybrid junction is a magic T antenna feeds and mixture IF amplifier, amplitude detectors, phase sensitive detectors, IF amplifiers and mixer and local outlet. We are seeing two channels here. One is the summing channel, another one is the difference channel. So summing channel and difference channels will give the range signal and the angular error signal. So here antenna feeds were given to the magic T. The magic T will give the, it is a four port network. In that four port network, we are going to get the sum and different signal. A block diagram of monopulse radar with the portions for extracting error signal in both elevation and azimuth is shown in figure. The cluster of four feet generates four partially overlapping antenna beam. So here you see you can able to see that magic T feed is a horn and after that we have given to the error. We have given to the sum channel, elevation difference, azimuth difference and we are going to find the elevation angle, uh, angular error and azimuth angular error range. So the block diagram of two coordinates amplitude comparison monopulse tracking radar. So after that, so here we are going to uh, take the block diagram of two coordinates amplitude comparison monopulse. So here we are taking the azimuth error A plus C. Uh, minus B minus D. So block diagram of two coordinates azimuth and elevation amplitude comparison monopulse radar. So here so block diagram of two coordinates amplitude comparison comparison monopulse radar. Here azimuth angle gives A plus C minus B by T. If A plus C minus B minus D is equal to 0, there is no error. If you want to find the elevation error, A plus B minus C minus D. So if you have no error, you are going to get the elevation error. 
no no elevation error if a a equals to b equals to c equals to d equals to um, c then the target is centered the clusters of four feet generates four partial overlapping antenna beams these feeds might be used with a parabolic reflector or lens or four feet generators the sum of the pattern so all four feeds generated the sum pattern the difference pattern is one plane is formed by taking the sum of two adjacent feeds and subtracting this from the sum of the other two adjacent feeds the difference pattern in the orthogonal plane is obtained by adding the difference of the orthogonal adjacent pair the total of four hybrid junction um, generates the sum channel the azimuth different channel and the elevation difference channel the three separate mixtures and if amplifiers are shown one of the each channel all three mixtures operated from a single local oscillator in order to maintain the phase relation between the three channels two phase sensitive detectors extract the angle error information one of the azimuth of the other of for elevation range information is extracted from the output of the sum channel after amplitude detection so phase comparison monopulse tracking data the another method first one is a amplitude comparison second one is a phase comparison so the angle of array may be determined by comparing the difference between the signals from two separate antennas the measurement of angle of array by the comparison by the comparison of the angles the two antennas are separated by a distance z has shown the distance to the target is r and is assumed large compared with the antenna separated d the line of sight to the target make make an angle theta to the perpendicular bisector of the joining the two antenna the distance from antenna 1 to the target is r1 equals to r plus d by 2 sin theta so the distance from the antenna to the target will be r2 equals to r minus d by 2 sin theta the phase difference between the two echo signals in the two antennas is approximately 5 uh, del phi is equals to pi by lambda into sin theta for a small angles where sin theta is equals to theta the phase difference is the linear function of angular error and may be used for has the position the antenna via a servo control loop that to extract the range and angular error the commonly used method is to form the sum and difference pattern in the rf and the process the signal has in a conventional amplitude comparison mo- monopole radar so tracking in range range tracking can be achieved by the watching a scope or j scope presentation and manually positioning a hand wheel in order to maintain the marker over the desired target trip as the speed of the target increases it becomes difficult for the operator to perform a necessary level or efficiency over sustained period of time and automatic tra- tracking become necessary the technique of automatic tracking in range is based on the split ga- range gate the two range gates are generated one is the earlier range gate and other one is the la- uh, late gate so this is the uh range split range gate block diagram so first we are going to gen earlier echo after that late echo so we are taking the frequency response of the earlier gate and the late gate so after that the magnitude of error is measured of the difference between the center of the pulse and the center of the gate the sign of the error signal determines the di- direction in which the gate must be repositioned by the feedback control system when the error signal is zero the range gate is centered to the center to the pulse so next is the acquisition and the scan- scanning pattern so the tracking radar must first find the acquire its target before it can operate as a tracker therefore it is usually necessary for the radar to scan an angular sector in which the presence of the target is suspected so the example of this common of the scanning pattern employed with the spin b- pencil beam so like this we are going to uh, deliver the uh, beams that are tra- uh, scanning beams trace of helical scanning beam palm scan spiral scan raster of tv scan and nodal scan so in helical scan 
the antenna is continuously rotating the palmaris and rapid scan circular scan so the when the axis is rotating in held stationary the palmar scan reduces to the conical scan so the spiral scan covers an angular such volume with the circuitry the spiral scan the raster scan such area uniform manner the raster scan is simply converted means of searching so the nodal scan produce oscillations by the antenna beam rapidly in the elimination so elim noding scan may be used to obtain the hemispherical coverage that its eval elevation angle exceeds to 90 degrees and the az azimuth scan is 360 degrees comparison of trackers so here we are having the two types of scan or uh, differences one is a conical scan other one is a monopulse this technique uses the single antenna beam on the time shared basis more than one beam is used to determine the angle of arriving of echo signal multiple pulses are required to derive the angular information angular error information is derived on the basis of single pulse low signal to noise ratio high signal to noise ratio less accurate and less costly and symbol to design generally horn antennas are used radar first integrates a number of pulses and then extract angular measurement so in the mono pulse more accurate hands can be used for the precision target cost is high its de design is complex and since it requires three separate receivers to derive the error signal into orthogonal cassegrain antennas are used and these radars first make angle measurement and then integrate the pulses of the pulses to obtain the signal to noise ratio